This is the original picture and this is the one that has been modified by AI. As you can see, it looks exactly the same except the coming soon text has been replaced with this date. And that is only possible thanks to this new AI model. So in this video, I'm going to show you the AI prompt that you could use to edit text from picture accurately while still able to maintain everything else and the AI tool that you can use to achieve that. So let's navigate to playground.bfl.ai. This is the website that you must visit. And after that, you can create a free account using your email address or using your Google account. And basically, uh, you have to click this and then click get started. Now, I'll show you how you can do it. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be using this picture, which I think sounds uh, looks really funny. There's a guy called Batman being Superman. So I will add uh, maybe change a few things on this picture. So let's go back to playground again. And I'm going to click this and select the picture that I want to modify and i'm going to be using this ai prompt you can use this prompt or you can use something else but i do recommend to use this prompt because it's going to make the process much more reliable so basically i just want ai to act as an expert in typography and i wanted to replace the word now in this case i'm going to be replacing the name let's re replace batman being superman with let's say uh, Bruce Wayne <laughs> Bruce Wayne let's try that and use the same font styling as the original maintain everything else so here you can select the model that is flux one context pro and flux one context max that's the models that you can select I think you can use just the pro version just fine the max version is going to take more credits and it's also a bit slower but it's highest quality however most of the times I think the pro version is more than enough and here you can select the aspect ratio i think i'm going to be using four by three and for the batch size it's basically the number of pictures that you want to create per generation you can create between one up to four pictures but remember one picture will consume one credit so on your account you're getting 200 credits and if you want to save credits i think you just need to create one or two images per generation now for the safety tolerance it's usually not something that you, you need to change usually the the default setting is good enough. The same is true for from upsampling. I'm not going to use that. And for the auto format, you can select either PNG or JPEG. And after that, you can close this and you can send the message and the prompt to uh, this AI tool called Flux One Contact. And usually, it will start creating the pictures and it will be done in just a few seconds. And there you go. So this is the result. It's the new name. And as you can see, it is able to maintain the same style, the same color, same position, and it looks very, very clean. And by the way, uh, since it generated two different pictures, you can check which one you think is look the best. And after that, you can right click on the picture and then download the picture to your computer. And there you go. This is much, much better than ChatGPT, than Gemini. And not to mention, there is no watermark whatsoever. So feel free to use this tool, playground.bfl.ai, and then uh, you can use it to edit or even generate new AI pictures. And if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.